They represent the Ice Works Skating Club in Aston, Pennsylvania. After the short dance, they are in 10th place. Please welcome to the ice Jenna Hopman and Pavel Filchenkov. Hopman and Filchenkov. Coached by the 1980 Olympic champion Natalia Linichuk. They originally teamed up in 2008, but were set back for two seasons when Gina had surgery to repair a torn labrum. So now a second chance here. In Omaha with their free dance. And they will skate to music from the movie Love Story. As you mentioned, Steve, they trained with Natalia Linichuk. She also was the coach of Tanith Belbin, Ben Augusto, five-time U.S. champions, and that's a team that these two have admired and are inspired by. Well, 10th place after 
the short program, Steve, so they have a lot of ground to make up, but I was quite impressed with the free dance. I think they took their strengths, their long lines, their ability to appear to be floating across the ice because of their deep knee bends, and this packaging and music really suited and played to their strengths. Well, they were 11th last year at the U.S. Championships. So being 10th after the short dance, you have to figure that if they can stay in the top 10, they should be satisfied. That is an accomplishment, but uh, but you know, they'll be wanting to move up a little bit from that 10th place. And, and again, I think they really took advantage of their strengths, and that was a great vehicle for them. And in terms of choice, Natalia Linichuk, their coach there, coach of many Olympic champions. The final groups waiting to take the ice in the free dance, including Charlie White, Merrill Davis, really the yardstick for excellence in this sport right now, and in a country our ice dancing is so good, so deep, so broad. It just keeps getting better, and uh, and watching what these two have done for the sport here is, uh, it's just been a real fun ride. And you see the Shibutanis there who train with them in Canton, Michigan, a brother and sister team. It's really one of the interesting dynamics in this sport is that so many of the top teams train together. You don't often see that in other sports where you train separately, but here you're on the same rink. And I think that's one of the things that has helped U.S. dance so much. In fact, ice dance around the world, a lot of teams have come together. Hubble and Donahue there, they were top 10 in the World Championships last year in only their first year together. But they get to be on the ice and train with the top teams in the world. So they see what's possible. They're constantly being pushed every day in practice. Standards continue to be raised in this particular discipline in the U.S. And largely because of those two, Davis and White. And you'll see quite a variety in the free dances to come. The memoirs of a geisha to Notre Dame de Paris and everything in between. And now the scores for Hopman and Folchenkov. And now the scores for Jenna Hopman and Pavel Folchenkov. Their score for the free dance, 72.74. Their total score, 119.77. They currently are in fifth place. So into fifth place for Hopman and Filchenkov. Final groups in the free dance, set to go. We will see them as the U.S. Championships continue here in Omaha.